this is Dunta. Today I am at the Raiders Allegiant Stadium. It is Monday, April 5th, 2020. So I'm coming out here to go check the uh, Prison View Media Mesh screen to see how that's coming along, if we could notice any any improvements done yet. But I am also here, I want to show you, I met my friends Ernie and Mary from Sterling Teak yesterday. They went on the tour and they brought me a few items, so I want to show those off. So this is the first one here. This is, they make these. So you can see this is the Raiders Shield. And it has the mirrored background. So I got it up against here. You can see it has the, so you can hang them on the wall. Really, really nice. So if you like any of this stuff, check them out. It's on Instagram at Sterling Teak. I'll have a link for it. This is really nice. Alright, so that was the Raiders Shield. Now I want you to check out this other. This is the new one they're also making. This is really cool. This is Charles Woodson. It's made you know, because of his induction into the Hall of Fame this year. So if you've been on the stadium tours, they have the big giant signs for everyone that's been inducted to the Hall of, Hall of Fame. And this is just a mini version on the shield. You can see it's all how it's got the raised letters and numbers and signature and this also has the spot so you can hang it on the wall so this stuff you know they could pretty much make you anything so if you want to start a collection with all, all the Hall of Famers this is the place to check out because this is their newest one they've made but pretty pretty cool so I think I might have to start a collection of these now. So this is from my friends at Sterling Teak. This stuff is off the hook. Great quality. I got one more thing to show you. Alright, this is the other item that I got this weekend. You can see this, a bottle opener. You always need one of these, especially if you're out tailgating. So these are laser engraved. So it's it's made out of some kind of metal, painted black, and then they engraved the logo on there. And then if we turn it over, we have Allegiant Stadium, and then we also have my Duntov 67. So they could pretty much do any custom item that you need. So you need to check them out. So I'm sure we'll be putting this to good use for this season. Get some tailgating in. So Sterling Teak, they've really outdone themselves this time. Every time I see them, they come up with something even uh, better than the last time. So thank you, Ernie and Mary. Of course, another more great products. I'm now in lot D. Gonna make our way over to the video screen. So just over here, this is, they've been opening these Lanai doors a little more often. I didn't notice them open at all this weekend, but I saw them a couple times last week. I think they've been doing it more for all the tours. So if you go on the stadium tour and then you all, you do the um, drink with the view package, they do, you do it after the tour, you get to go up by the torch and have drink and then they got some food you could purchase. 
and then you get to hang out by where the lanai doors are that's the Coors Light landing area that's a giant bar all the way around the torch and then they have the tables and chairs around there so you could hang out so they open up the doors and then you can see the whole Las Vegas Strip area let me swing around here of course you're up higher so this Hacienda Bridge isn't going to be blocking the view but that is the view you get out of the Lanai doors when you're inside when I went on my tour the doors were closed but you know of course you could still see all this through the window So when they have a game here, especially a night game, it's really going to be nice. Alright, so I get a lot of people asking about the tours. So they are still... Oh, we got a loud truck back there. They are still currently only being sold to PSL holders. That's the season ticket holders. So, I have not heard when they are going to start releasing them to the general public. But if you go to the Allegiant Stadium website, you can click on Tours Info, or just click on Tours and then it will ask you to sign up for interest list. So go ahead and do that. You just got to put like your name and email and they will let you know when tours become available so that's the first thing you got to do if you're not a season ticket holder is go legionstadium.com click on tours and then sign up for the interest list there you go Vegas to Oakland $33 one way all right, let me make my way down to the video screen. From here, I do. there's nobody working on it yet. You can see it is 8.40 in the morning. It's going to be a hot one today. It's supposed to go up to about 91. Right now, it's probably about 80 degrees. But no one's working on it now, but last week when I would drive by, they were doing a lot of stuff with these brackets. Let's go take a look and see if we can get it, get it figured out. There, I don't know if you just saw on that video screen, they were showing the legacy bricks. I also get a lot of people asking me if they know when they'll start installing the next batch of them. And I do not know that. For some reason, I thought I heard before that they do it usually in July or so, but I don't remember where I heard that information, so don't quote me on that, but it is supposed to be installed by uh, next season. So before August it'll be installed. And then I also don't know if they're going to continue it on the lower part around the shield. I would think they will. And then as they keep selling more, you know, they'll keep moving out because they go all the way to the different you got the stairs on both sides of the Legion Stadium store so all in front of there they have where they could put bricks so if you didn't get one yet and you scrape up the cash for one you know, it might not get in by next season but you will get it in there in the front area all right here's the video screen I'm on the more on this right side of it so last week when I was here they still had a little bit more of the panels to remove on this right side so now you can see everything is off because they had um, they removed all the brackets remember how they had that trim like or not the brackets but the trim going around the panels on these diagonals you can actually see all the brackets sticking up. So they ex so they finished all of this, uh, removing the panels. 
and they're supposed to be changing. Let me see if I could zoom in. You can see all these thinner uh, brackets going across diagonally. I mean, not diagonally, horizontally, these ones here. So from what I've heard is they're gonna rearrange some of those so they could do some improvements to the screen. I don't know what that entails, what I'm thinking it means. If you look on this very right edge where the, where the still uh, structure is, you remember the screen did not go all the way down to there. It could be wrong, but I'm thinking they're gonna extend the screen all the way to fill all that in. Because if we look at the, you can see this little bracket looking thing there. I don't remember, I'll have to look at old video to see if that was there before, but it lines up with this one where they could also put the, this horizontal bracket all the way across. So that's just my guess that they're going to continue the screen all the way to the very end. And then they'll probably also, you know, find some way to clean up the, the trim around the whole screen and when it's finished. That's my guess. Because obviously for them to remove every panel off of here, you know, they're going to, they got to be rearranging pretty much everything. And then we'll see, I can see they got this uh, fluorescent yellow dot up here. Don't know what that's for, but... go move to the middle we'll look at it straight on and see if we can see anything else okay here's the straight on look you can see nobody is working on it right now still last week when I was here down below they were still stacking panels because you know, they were still removing them on the right side so they have all that cleared out and they're all stored in these containers over here in lot F all right so if we look over here now on this left side this was the same thing. The screen didn't come all the way to the edge. So to me, it looks like the brackets are going to get extended out again. That's where the brackets were. That's where it ends. hard to really tell anything <clears throat> excuse me the only thing I can notice are on some of these brackets it might just be the reflection the way the lights the sun's coming up hitting it so you can just see like these ones here now they have like those white or silver marks on them and then the rest the rest are all black so I don't know if that's something new that they're switching around all the way up the side, like there's a row of them you can kind of see. All right. So this is the starting of week three. I was told it's going to take about 10 weeks, but we know how that usually works. So if it's done in 10 weeks, I'll be pretty surprised, but you never know. So I'll just keep doing an update on the screen about once a week. 
So again, I'd like to thank my friends at Sterling Teak for making me those custom made uh, Raider shields or Raider inspired shields. So check them out. So Raider Nation, everybody, thanks for watching. Stay safe. And I'll talk with you guys next time.